Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here and in today's video we are going to be talking about Pokemon Legends Arceus and specifically one of the most interesting parts of the game and that is the gameplay loop that has you going out into the various wild areas and then returning eventually to Jubilife Village. This is probably the core of the game, probably the most important part for getting players to continue through the story, build their teams and eventually beat the game. So why is it so good and what makes it what it is? And what, if it didn't have it, would make this game just honestly so much worse? With that being said, let's jump right into things. Now, the Legends Arceus gameplay loop is something that we've never really had in a mainline Pokemon game. Generally, the driving factor of you actually completing the story is obviously going and getting every single gym badge, leveling up your team, defeating the evil team, eventually going to the Pokemon League, beating the champion, and then, you know, you're good. You can do the post game if you want, you can do the multiplayer, but once you get that done, the game is pretty much over. That's the loop. Going between town to town, gym to gym, getting every single badge, progressing the side story of the evil villain, that's essentially what Pokemon has always been. It's deviated in the past in side games, XD Gale of Darkness and Colosseum had a more story focused adventure. A battle revolution didn't necessarily have a story. It was literally just a battle sim. Pokemon Ranger, Mystery Dungeon, they made variations to the story and to that core gameplay loop. But generally speaking, the Pokemon gameplay loop has always been the same. That is until Legends Arceus came around. There are no gyms in the Hisui region. There are no badges for you to collect. There is no Pokemon League for you to conquer. Obviously, I'm not gonna spoil the story in this video if you have not finished the game yet. I haven't finished the game yet. So hopefully you guys could also keep some spoilers out of the comment section, that would be nice. The biggest part of Legends Arceus is leaving Jubilife Village into the various environments of Hisui and collecting resources. Those resources can then be brought back to a crafting station or back to the village or right where you're standing because you can have a mobile crafting station and building all of the various items that then allow you to go back into the wild areas and capture more Pokemon, collect more items, traverse the region more thoroughly. That is the core loop of this game. You are collecting resources in order to catch Pokemon. You are catching Pokemon in order to collect resources. The resources you collect allow you to craft new and better items. As you progress from location to location in the Hisui region, you gain access to more recipes as you rank up with the, uh, with the Galactic team. This is pretty much everything that Legends Arceus is. Within this specific gameplay loop, you have the ability to catch shiny Pokemon. You have the ability to find new hidden locations with alpha Pokemon that you didn't necessarily know were there from the get-go. Battle them, catch them, get better Pokemon for your team, eventually help you complete the Pokedex. The Pokedex is the key to this all because everything that you were doing, whether it's catching Pokemon, raising a team, gathering items and then crafting recipes, crafting items from recipes you get, all of it goes to completing the Pokedex. That's the entire central point of the game. And for someone who's just looking on from the, from the outside, they might say, well, every game is about completing the Pokedex. That's kind of part of what Pokemon is, but it's never been this deep. It's not just catching the Pokemon and registering its information or seeing a Pokemon in battle and then having access to some basic information on it in your Pokedex. This is much more advanced. You're actually having to see it use moves. You can look at different sizes of Pokemon. Alpha Pokemon get you more points in the Pokedex. The number of times you catch a Pokemon or the number of times you defeat a Pokemon, all of this goes into a full Pokedex completion. And you have a list of Pokemon in each uh, specific area that you can check off as you go about your journey. One of the other big parts of this loop is it allows you to come back to older, older areas. When you get access to new Mount Pokemon, for example, Basque Legion, you can go back to previous areas and find new places to explore that you couldn't previously get to. That allows you, again, to find new Pokemon that you didn't know were there before, find better alpha Pokemon, have the potential to find other Pokemon you really like's shiny form that you didn't already see, and then gather items to then craft more stuff. And then that stuff goes right back into the loop of catching Pokemon. It is addicting. It is very Monster Hunter-esque if you've ever played a Monster Hunter game. The resource collecting is probably the most important thing of that game besides the monsters themselves and understanding how to beat every single one that is in the game. 
This is the big central piece, and it works so incredibly well in Legends Arceus. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free, and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another Pokemon Legends Arceus video. I think this gameplay loop in Legends Arceus is one of the reasons why people are loving this game so much. It's addicting. I mean, listen, I had to pry myself away from playing the game myself just to record this video. And the fact that I had to record footage for this video, I was like, I have to do all these tasks, but I just, I just want to progress the story. I just want to keep going to the newest locations and catching new Pokemon. I don't, I don't, I don't have time to just record footage of things I've already seen. It was a struggle, let me tell you, especially with classes. Oh my God. Can I, have I skipped a class? Have I skipped a class to play this game? It's entirely possible. The gameplay loop is great. And we've seen a lot of people who don't particularly play Pokemon often, people who are just general gamers who maybe played Pokemon when they were younger, but decided to give Legends Arceus a try, also praising this system. One of the interesting things about this system, however, is that it kind of goes against the idea of building a team of six. You're constantly needing to cycle between Pokemon and you're constantly going back to Jubilife Village so you can always see your ranch of all the Pokemon you catch. And as you catch more Pokemon, just like in any modern Pokemon game, your box space increases. You can have a team of 8 or 10 or 12 Pokemon that are all up to snuff in level to where you're at in the game, and it doesn't really take away from progress. It does, however, kind of diminish the reward, at least in my opinion, of building a full team of six, a team that you adventure through the region with. Now, of course, it's a gameplay decision. It's a stylistic choice for an individual. I'm choosing to play with a team of six. I might up it to seven and have someone who rotates in for other guys, but for the most part, I'm rocking with six Pokemon. It's just how I enjoy playing the game, and I think it is still rewarding, even though I'm not constantly cycling in new Pokemon that I find littered about the region. In new areas, there's always new Pokemon, there's always new alphas to catch. I have yet to encounter a shiny, unfortunately, I've seen a lot of people on social media catching shiny Pokemon. There's a whole trick where you can turn off autosave and save your game right before it. And as you come back, that shiny will still be there. So even if it flees, you have more opportunities. But these are all things that are baked into this gameplay loop. All of this has to do with those three things. Resource gathering, catching Pokemon, filling up your Pokedex. It's simple. It's very basic. It's nothing complex. It's not something that you're going to throw into a novice's hands and they're just going to be really confused about. You pick it up really fast. And the fact that they litter the region with so many Pokemon constantly and so many items that are always refreshing whenever you come back into an area, it adds a lot of replay value. I can't tell you how many times I've gone back to the first uh, the first region, the smaller region within the region of Hisui to just go find more apricots to make my Pokeballs. Apricorns, apricots, I never remember that. But it's just, it's such a good feature. And especially because once your team gets higher leveled, you can go back to those older areas and you can just focus squarely on the resource gathering. You don't have to worry about the rabid, crazy alpha Pokemon anymore. You don't have to worry about that giant Rapidash that tries to murder you in your first couple minutes of the game. You can just go about your business. Another thing that really helps this entire system is the day-night cycle. It changes the Pokemon that you can encounter, so you have different reasons to go back to different environments. And like I said before, as I sound like a broken record, when you go back to those environments, you are constantly filling up your bag with items. There is a little bit of a hindrance in the fact that the bag isn't that big. You can pay an increasingly exorbitant amount of money at the Galaxy Team headquarters to expand your bag space by one per payment. And it's really not that much. You're going to really have to utilize item storage in this game. It's not the best. The, the entire UI for managing items and managing Pokemon for this whole process, at least in my opinion, could have been handled a little bit better. But it does all work. It's not... It's a little clunky and it takes a little getting used to, but it all does its job. It's not as if you're missing out on features, even though I would have preferred to have some, some more advanced pockets in the bag so you can sort Pokeballs, medicinal stuff, herbs, uh, stones, key items, all of those things. There is a key items bag, but it's very minimal what you can actually store in it. So this is the gameplay loop. This is what everybody is absolutely loving about Pokemon Legends Arceus. It is addicting because you're constantly getting rewarded with things. It's one of the best parts of this game. The story is another great part. The story is surprisingly deep for a Pokemon game. I won't go into it here, but it's really worth the playthrough. 
a lot of these reviews seem to really hit it on the head. This is a big advancement for the Pokemon franchise. And I think one of the reasons why so many people love it is because the world is full of stuff to do. Even though it is two sets of things, items and Pokemon, you might presume that it might get a little bit boring after a while, but it doesn't because they do such a good job of varying when you see certain things, when you have to deal with more challenging scenarios, when the weather becomes a factor, it all plays into this gameplay loop. Are you guys playing Pokemon Legends Arceus? I hope you are. If you are, what do you think of this gameplay loop and what are you thinking of the game in general? I would love to hear what you guys think down in the comments section below. And as I mentioned before, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button because it helps me immensely. We hit 10,000 subscribers last week and I cannot thank you guys enough. It is truly an honor to be able to make videos for you guys. I absolutely love it. So with that being said, I have been Linky and we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.